My name is Dr. Arthi Komarla, um, and I work at Dartmouth Hitchcock Manchester. I'm a gastroenterologist. What is a typical day at work like? A gastroenterologist also practices hepatology, so we focus on um, both the GI tract and the liver, um, pancreas as well. And so in that practice, we see patients in the office setting um, where we you know, will see them um, and kind of get a chance to know what their issues may be. And then we also do procedures. So I do both upper endoscopy and colonoscopy. Um, so one day a week, I see patients in the clinic and the office setting. Um, and then three days a week, I will do procedures, uh, both upper endoscopy and colonoscopy, uh, typically doing a mix of both uh, 10 to 12 procedures a day. What education did you receive? So first, uh, undergraduate education. Um, I ended up having uh, being accepted into a six-year medical program. So I did two years of undergraduate, but typically four years of undergraduate school, um, then four years of medical school. And then after that, if you wish to pursue gastroenterology, it's a subspecialization off of internal medicine. So we do three years of internal medicine residency and then three years of a gastroenterology fellowship. Um, and in my case, I did one year of clinical decision-making fellowship between my internal medicine uh, residency and fellowship. What helped you choose gastroenterology? In pursuing this career, I had a, a significant inspiration that um, I had the opportunity to shadow a gastroenterologist as a high schooler. And um, I watched procedures, um, including colonoscopy, and um, he showed me that by removing polyps, we can prevent cancer. And I was very impressed by that ability to prevent cancer um, at that age. And um, I think that that was a unique opportunity that kind of you know, put me in this direction. Um, and I also always wanted to have that challenge of, of being a proceduralist, um, both uh, also as a, a female um, you know, physician, which it was primarily a, a male-dominated field previously, but now we have pretty much equal uh, men and women in the gastroenterology. Why did you choose Manchester? So I did my internal medicine residency in Boston at Tufts uh, Medical Center. And so we did have ties to the area, um, having lived in Boston uh, for several years. And my um, in-laws and sister-in-law and mother-in-law um, live in Connecticut and Boston area as well. So we kind of have ties to the New England area. Um, I went to GI fellowship in New York City. And then after that, we really wanted to come back to New England. Um, and this opportunity with Dartmouth Hitchcock Manchester was uh, a great option for me, um, being a part of a larger system. Um, as well as an academic center and the collaboration and opportunity to educate. So uh, we ended up in Manchester. What do you see as exciting new developments in your field? There has been a development rather uh, recent um, in a AI or artificial intelligence in this field. And there is actually a technology available now that will help uh, or assist us in identifying polyps. And it, it's a form of AI. So it's, it's pretty exciting.